You are the fire. Today on Trisha, Amy says strange women stop her on the street and describe her boyfriend JD's private parts. There's one lady walked up to me and said he has a birthmark on his area. But she still wants to be with him. You seem to feel that you can't live without this guy. What are you doing? I can't He's my everything. Amy's mother is trying to convince her otherwise. Why would my daughter call me crying so hard where she and can't not even speak because doing, she's like... Though. It's not what I've been you know, doing. It's what she breath. thinks I've been doing. Liar, liar, liar. Yeah. Will a lie detector convince her? Did you have sexual intercourse with the woman that described your private part? Ashley regrets the day she convinced her mom to try online dating. She's not who she was. She's changed. She's changed a lot. She's changed everything. Mom Jessica married Anthony just seven months after meeting him. He's the first person that she met. Even though he admitted to cheating on her. There was a woman in his hotel room. There was a lady sitting on his bed. I found her girl's panties in my car. Now Ashley wants her mom out of this relationship. I think she put the panties in there. Why would I have another female so in the car? you think she's doing that so that we aren't together anymore? I think so. A lie detector will determine if he's still cheating. This woman was in the room. You were trying to make music. What, yes. the uh, 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 type of music? No, no, no. <laughs> Hard truths revealed today on Trisha. to look at this picture. Now, Amy was just 13 years old when she fell madly in love with JD. But now, 14 years later, Amy says their puppy love has been tarnished by her suspicions. She's suspicious he's been cheating. Her first clue? Amy says strange women have stopped her on the street only to describe JD's private parts. What? That is just the beginning. Listen to why Amy and her mother Susan say JD is a compulsive liar. Watch. My boyfriend JD means the world to me. I knew since the moment that I met him that he is the one for me and nobody else. I'm very upset that I think JD is cheating on me. He keeps telling me that he's not cheating. And I know that he is cheating because I have a lot of women telling me that they know what my man's private parts looks like. How would they know that if he wasn't cheating? I found him on a lot of sex sites with hundreds of messages, maybe even thousands. He denies it, but I seen it with my own eyes. I speak to my mother Susan about this all the time. And she tells me, but well, then Amy, why are you with him? And I say, because I love him, Mom, and I don't want to be with nobody else. And she don't understand why I still want to be with this man. If you love someone, you don't put them through pain. And that low life, JD, is bringing my daughter down. I hope my daughter realizes today that she doesn't need him in her life. JD is the love of my life, and I need answers so that we can possibly move on with our future and be a happy family. This, this is really tearing you apart, isn't it? Can we go through some of the suspicions you have that JD is cheating? What is this about women talking about being able to describe his private parts? There's one lady, well, she was younger, walked up to me and said that, you know, he has a birthmark on his... <laughs> area. She described his to private the parts in the birth <laughs> To the T. To the T. And how did he explain that? He said that he never did it. And when did you start suspecting that he was cheating on you? When I was two months pregnant. Now, he claims he's tuning up cars. Are you suspicious that he's doing something else then? He never came home that night at all. And I was so worried about him. I was calling him with text and home and I couldn't sleep. Where and was then he? he? I don't know. He said that he was over at a friend's house and they had a couple of drinks and he was doing a tune-up on his car. Yeah. But he never came home with any grease stains on his pants, no grease under your fingernails. So I asked him, I said, how come you don't have any grease on your pants or nothing? And he said, because his friend did most of the work. You don't believe that? You don't believe that? No. 
So what are you going to do if after the lie detector test it comes back and he is cheating? Because your mum's saying, you know, you you seem to feel that you can't live without this guy. What are you going to do? I can't he's my everything. <laughs> so, hey, so you're saying that whether the lie detector test comes back, whether he's been cheating or not cheating, you still want to stay with this guy. How, does he, how do you think your mum will respond to that? Well, she's here. Um, she may not think that you should be together. Okay, uh, uh, if he's been cheating on you, I don't know. And now JD says this relationship has fallen apart because it's your insecurities. You're the one who's worrying about it. I would have insecurities or worried or have trust if it wasn't for him doing what he did in the beginning. I trusted him when I let him move into my house. <laughs> JD took a lie detector test. Our polygraph examiner, Tim Acosta, is going to help us get to the bottom of this. But first, I want to bring out JD and hear how he feels about these accusations. So please welcome JD. Hi. How are you going? How do you feel? I'm good. Good? Mm -hmm. I'm definitely good. So what do you feel about... Let me take you through some of the things Amy's talking about. How come this girl was able to describe your private parts very accurately? To tell you the truth, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. On, I mean, she said she saw her down the street and all of a sudden she's talking to her, describing my body parts. I mean, who is this person? Where, what, what, what's the name? I mean, if, I, if, if maybe I knew what the name was or, or I who... I didn't even know her name. I didn't even know her. Well, how am I supposed and to I, say I yes, no? I told you about I mean, the... it. I asked you and you said no, that no. That's but exactly how did why. She know? Why she did I say no? Please. Because the only person I've been with is you. Let me ask you about the, the website, apparently. Um, Amy says you've got, what, 50 friends, female friends, and she admitted that she got somebody to hack into your account and there was this conversation going back and forth and you seem to be a willing participant in it, am I right? Yes. How do you explain those? I mean, well, remind him of some of the messages. You never even said that you were with me. You said that you wasn't with anybody and I was pregnant with like your I child. Like I told you, it was, it was just for fun. It, it was, was just for fun. fun. I was, but I, that's I not never, fun to me. I never, I what never meant I, to what actually if I get together with her. You? What if I done that to you? You wouldn't trust me, JD. You wouldn't trust me. You two split up at one stage. Did you then have sex with somebody? Yes. You did? Yes. And you knew about that? We wasn't split up. We were uh, split up. Oh. That's what, this is what, this is, this is one of our problems. We was not split up. We was not split up. We were still having sex. We were still living in the same place. We were still intimate constantly. We were not split up when you left me for two weeks. We wasn't. Hang on, hang on. If we were split up, then we was not having sex. How did I magically become pregnant and lost the baby? How? And this was all news to Ow. me. I mean, I'm talking about this happened. This, this, she comes out with this after, weeks afterwards. Hang on. Are you suggesting that sometimes Amy gets a little dramatic? Definitely, all the time. Is she? All the time. Does she nag at you? Yes. Does she? I nag for reasons. Women nag for a reason. No, if you, you're you not doing for, anything, I'm nagging nag, for a reason. You nag for anything, for anything, anything. even the stupidest little thing. JD, uh, Amy's mother is backstage, and I'm guessing she won't be too happy with you. Um, how do you get on with her mom? He used to. Her mother, her, her mother, all her mother knows right now is a everything that Amy told her. Well, let's meet your mom, uh, Amy. Let's, let's hear from her. Please welcome Susan. Up next, Amy's mother is here, and she wants JD out of her daughter's life. Why you, would my daughter call me crying so hard? It's not what I've been you doing. Know, it's what she thinks I've been doing. Liar. <laughs> then, Ashley convinced her mom to try online dating. He's the first person that she met. Something she now deeply regrets. Do you think that Anthony is messing about with other women? Oh, I know he is. Revealed. If you ask for the truth, you've got to be ready for it. Today on Trisha.
I'm very upset that I think JD is cheating on me. He keeps telling me that he's not cheating. And I know that he is cheating because I have a lot of women telling me that they know what my man's private parts looks like. How would they know that if he wasn't cheating? I speak to my mother, Susan, about this all the time. And she tells me, well, then, Amy, why are you with him? And I say, because I love him, Mom, and I don't want to be with nobody else. And she don't understand why I still want to be with this man. How come this girl was able to describe your private parts very accurately? It was just for fun. It, it was, was just for fun. For I was, fun I, but that's I never, not fun to I me. Never, I never what if, I, what if I done that to that. you? What if I done that to you? JD, uh, Amy's mother is backstage, and I'm guessing she won't be too happy with you. Well, let's meet your mum, uh, Amy. Let's let's hear from her. Please welcome Susan. Everything's alive. Liar, liar, liar. It is what it is. Like I said, all she hears is what comes out of her mouth. All right, all right, so wanna, why, why, do, why do you think my daughter lies? Yo, I mean, seriously. I mean, what? Get to who? No, she get she cries just to get to me because she knows. No, 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 no. I so try you, to get to you. How about, this, how about okay. the ones you think I cry because it's real? No, you cry because of the things that? you tell yourself. Okay. I tell myself no, no, no. Let your mom speak. Let your mom speak. What do you want to say to Katie? Why would my daughter call me, okay, three or four times a day, at least, but and tell didn't. me what you've been doing and crying? I mean, crying so hard where she and can't not even speak because doing, she's though. like... It's not what I've been you know, doing. It's what she breath. thinks I've been doing. J.D., you took a lie detector test. Uh, before we get to the results, anything that you want to say? No. No? No. So you... I mean, I, I love you to the fullest extent. But I mean, if no, you don't. if no, you don't. Whatever. Okay, but if, low. like I said, no, if, you don't. if you're gonna keep going with this because stuff that you you it is what it is. You won't be it is what it is. This crap. It is what it is. Okay, I'm not gonna Are you ready? ready? Welcome right. to the lie detector test results. Um, as usual, I'm gonna read the questions. I don't know what the results are. I'm just gonna read out the questions. I'm the gonna Lord read out. He's a cheater. I'm. I don't know. And always will be. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to say what J.D. said, whether he agreed with it or he said yes or no, and Tim will tell us what the lie detector showed. So I'm going to read out the questions asked of J.D. We asked you, J.D., have you ever had sexual intercourse with someone that you met online? And you said no. Tim, what did the lie detector show? The lie detector determined... Coming up... Has J.D. been cheating? Did you have sexual intercourse with a woman that described your private parts? The lie detector will tell. But first... This woman was in the room, you were trying to make music. What, yes. the uh, 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 type of music? No, it was like the first music. <laughs> Daughter Ashley wants her mom out of this relationship once and for all. Your mama, she's sensitive to a lot of things that we go My through. Mom's sensitive to being cheated on. You are the fire. Get off my stage. Hard truths revealed. If you ask for the truth, you've got to be ready for it. Today on Trisha. year old Ashley. Now, Ashley says her mom, Jessica, married a cheater, and it's all her fault. You see, it was Ashley who convinced Jessica to give online dating a chance, but she never imagined Jessica would marry this man, Anthony, just seven months after meeting him. Whoa. Well, now, she's ready to confront the man who's tearing her family apart. We're going to talk to Ashley in just a minute, but first, let's hear Jessica and Anthony's story. I love Anthony. Anthony was my last chance at love. I married him. I was never going to get married. My wife Jessica is my best friend. She's my all, the only person I have in this world. I'm here to find out if my husband's cheating on me, still cheating on me, or was cheating on me. I can't keep doing this. I can't put my kids through this. i got to find out the truth. I'm here to clear my name and save my marriage and get back on the right path. I found a girl's panties in my car that I know weren't mine. And then I was cleaning out of stuff and I found a sex toy. 
I feel like I'm being set up. Panties was found in the car, even though that wasn't mine. Pills, yeah, they were mine, but that was just to please my wife. Ashley doesn't think he's the right man for me, but I need her to know that he does make me happy. But she sees the times that, that I'm in pain. I believe that Ashley is in her mom ear convincing her that I'm doing things. It seemed like it's a little bit of jealousy, maybe because her, her mom's spending a little more time with me instead of her. I really don't know what's going on. If I don't get these results, it's going to end up in divorce. It's making me somebody I don't want to be. We're on the verge of divorce, sleeping in different rooms, walking past each other on a daily basis, not saying anything. Just want my love back. So, Ashley, why is it that you don't think Anthony is right for your mom? Because she's sitting there crying on TV. Do you think that Anthony is messing about with other women? Oh, I know he is. You know? <laughs> They're sex toys. <laughs> Sex There's toys? underwears. There's text messages. Oh, I could still smell your yummy cologne. Do you think that Anthony is a bad influence on your mom? In a marriage, it's not tough love. That's for your kids. You don't, you don't make your spouse cry. When you're married, you don't make that woman cry. And your mom's crying a lot. And my mom's crying every day. Okay. All right. Tell me, tell me what happened three weeks ago. My mom and her husband got into an argument. Mm -hmm. Um, they split up. He packed up his stuff. Next thing she knows, she sees a woman pull up, and he leaves out the door and gets in the woman's car and drives off in my mother's face. And who is this woman? Who does he say Nobody this knows who the woman is, but he says that it was just a friend. You're married. You guys are supposed to know your friends. <laughs> okay. Do you think... Do you think he's bringing women into the house? I think he's bringing women into the house because if you're going to cheat, you're going to cheat anywhere. And with all the long hours that my mother worked to support her family, he, he had all the space and opportunity. But There's isn't... panties in the truck. If he's ha having a woman in a truck, then he has a woman back at home as well. Ooh. Do you feel a little bit guilty? Because I said right at the beginning there, you, you did feel some guilt because your mom was on her, her own and I think you, you got her onto the internet, didn't you? It was like, it's a chat line, kind of like a MySpace thing, and he's the first person that she met. So he came over, they started hanging out. Um, within three weeks, they were together. Okay, I've got to put this to you. Do you think it could be a case of Anthony thinking that you just want your mommy back? No, I think that he just knows that real recognizes real. Oh. All right. Um, now, if he does a lie detector test and it comes back, he is cheating. He needs to get out of my mom's life. He needs to let her be happy. Okay. He does. All right. There's somebody for everybody. What if the lie detector test comes back and says he's not cheating? Then he needs to stop doing things that makes her think that he's cheating. All right. Okay, fair enough. He should be there more for her. He should be more supportive of her. Well, I think it's time we met Jessica and see if we can salvage this mother-daughter relationship. So everyone, please welcome Jessica. <laughs> Hi, Jessica. Hello. How are you? You're going through a tough time, huh? Yes, ma'am. So yes, take me ahead. through what are the things that make you suspicious of Anthony's behavior. It was a sex toy. Um, I was going through his bags and getting ready to do laundry, and I found a toy in there that I would not never use, so I know it wasn't mine. And Did I you know, ask him about it? I didn't really ask him. I threw it at him. Oh. And he kind of told me... <laughs> he, he tried to put it on me that it was mine. You and know. the panties that you found in the car? Excuse me. Why do we need the slide detector test? Because I... You have all the proof. You have all the proof. Because there's that part that wants to believe that maybe, you know, that he was telling the truth. Sex toys, text messages. Text messages? Females yes. that you've seen in your face. Yeah, text messages. Say um, what? Well, there was a text message in there where he had told another girl that he loved her. And she had text back saying, Are you do you really love me? And he said, Yeah, I really love you, babe. And then there's text messages where there was this lady that said, I miss you, I can still smell your yellow, yummy cologne. Um, and he tells me that those are just all words, that those were things that he was just doing because he so was bored. So do you believe that or are you forcing yourself to believe that? 
right now I'm forcing myself to come to reality, Ashley. I didn't want to believe I made a huge mistake. You think you made a big mistake? If this is all true, then yes, I made a huge mistake. No, tell, tell no he made a huge mistake. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing this relationship has affected, affected things between me. the two of you. Well, yeah. It's affected It's us affected a lot. the whole family. <laughs> When's the last time we hung out? Uh, yeah. Why? I'm just trying to make it work, Ash. Because why? Because I got married. And you know I was never going to get married. Mom, when you get married, you and that man together <laughs> are supposed to bring your children closer to both of you to be a family. Yeah. And whether I'm grown, whether oh. I'm grown and have kids or not. I know I raised you like that. <laughs> Babes, out of the right. mouth of babes. I want to go through all of this because I'm going to go through all of this with Anthony. Believe you me, there was a woman in his hotel room. Yeah. When I got there, I had walked through the door and looked in this room and there was a lady sitting on his bed. You've been spending a lot of time being upset and crying about this, I'm guessing. Yeah. This rap career that he, he's talking about, does he bring in a lot of money? Does he bring in a lot of money? No. Can no. I ask, in general, who pays the bills? I do. Who puts the food on the table? I do. Who puts the gas in the cars? I do. Who, who pays for the roof over his head? I do. You so, can sit here and make excuses, but there's no excuses for you to be unhappy. And but, you're grade A of a woman. <laughs> okay. What I'm hearing from you, Jessica, is that it sounds like you were promised a lot of things that yeah. seem not to have come to fruition. Yeah. Am I right? Okay, well, when we come back, We'll hear what Anthony has to say and we'll get to the results of his lie detector test. <laughs> Thank you. Has Anthony's cheating continued? Okay. So you gave some girl your number? Yes, when I said no. The evidence is mounting. The underwear in the car. The medication from the, the sex store. And the woman in the hotel room. Okay, I was doing my music. Where's out. the song that you guys made? And later, did you have sexual intercourse with the woman that stopped Amy on the street? JD's lie detector results may be surprising. What? Hard truths ah. reveal. If you ask for the truth, you've got to be ready for it. Today on Trisha. We've been talking to Ashley, who believes her mom, Jessica, is married to a cheater. Now, Jessica thought she found her happy ending when she met her husband, Anthony, online. But she says she became distraught after finding evidence of his cheating. Now, Anthony took a lie detector test, but before we hear the results, I want to hear Anthony's side of things. So, Anthony, come on out. Anthony, anything you want to say to Ashley or anything in particular that you want to say to Jessica? Love you, and I feel like you just need to stay out of our lives. It seems like it's too much. It seems like every time you come around, it's drama. It's drama. You know what I'm saying? And I really don't understand that. With my mom crying all the time, that makes drama. I mean, your mama, she, she, she's sensitive to a lot of things that we go my through. My mom's sensitive to being cheated on. Okay, <laughs> but you don't, you don't know your mom behalf. You don't know what goes on both ways with us. Anthony! Allow me to go through a few things, because I want to hear from your side of things. The underwear in the car. I thought it was Ashley, me personally, because it just... We was doing huh? real cool. We was, we was doing real cool. Well, you said she planted If I don't yes. see my yes. mom, yes. how do I plant panties in her truck? Hey, your mom... When your mom came back from her trip, she saw you. She saw you. So, therefore, when... when uh, so, 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 what are you saying you think happened, Anthony? I think she put the panties in there. Why would I have some panties in there? Why would I have another female so in the car? you she's doing that so that we aren't together anymore? I think so. Okay. Now, me, me I, okay, too. mom, you make my mom happy. Yes, I But love you it. also make her cry. I know, and I'm not a If you guys are going to split up, that's between you guys. And my mom needs to be happy. She I, does. She can speak okay. for herself. All right. Let, but let, I'm her daughter. I'm supposed to speak for her. Okay, okay actually, hang on. She can't can speak for I, herself. I want to go through a few things. Tell me about the medication. The medication? Yeah, from the, the sex store. Okay, it's in happening here. I want to make love to my wife to the fullest extent, even if it's one hour, two hours, whatever it is. So I, I, have, I have that right. I have that right. And the woman in the hotel room? Okay, I was doing my music. We made a little proposition on, of what we were. Okay, it didn't well, turn out. Where's the song that you guys made? Well, we didn't make. We didn't get a chance because she showed on. up and she started oh, tripping and wilding out. Oh, why would you be in the room then? 
my kids wouldn't live there. So I, I don't want to. It's music. Music is music. They can hear it anywhere. True. You're saying this woman was in the room. You were trying to make music. What yes. the uh, 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 type of music? No, it was like. No, it's not like that. No, it's not like that. It's not like that. The texts, the text messages you got. I can't control what females text me. You, like you text her. I love you. And she texts back. Do you really? I you love said, you, yeah, babe. I really love you, babe. How do you know that's? His, it was in your phone. And it said, babe. No, and somebody else did it. Somebody framed you on that too. No. And it said, no. babe. So, so, no. so, so, so I, I didn't hear your excuse for the text messages. I mean, there's no excuse for the text messages. I so can't... you gave some girl your number. Yes, when I shouldn't have. Anthony, you admitted you did cheat right at the beginning. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. You did? I know she probably talked to a lot of dudes or whatever. No, I she did, didn't. I, well, that's your say so. I'm no, talking to your I, mom I, right now. I'm talking to your I, mom I, right I, now. I'm looking in. Since I, I met you, I never talked to another that's man. That's what you say. That's what I know. That's what God knows. That's what What about what knows. I found on your Facebook? I just want to get through some of this as well. If you pass this lie detector test, what do you want to happen? I want to work things out with my wife and, and ask me to leave, leave us alone, live her life, and do her. She's a grown I'll woman. I'll leave she you has alone her. when you treat my mom right. You're not around to know. So after this test, treat my mom right or get out of her life? I treat your mom well. I treat your mom well. You see the little things that go wrong every time she cries. I see my mom calling me crying all the time. You come. And that's the only time she calls me. OK, time, time, time. If you fail, the lie detector test. Then he needs to get out of our life. Oh, hang on, just a minute. Oh, it's between your mom, not you. Jessica is sitting in the middle of this, and there's one way to sort this out. Because I'm about to get the uh, questions we asked on the lie detector test. I'm about to get them in my hands. Now, sitting in the audience is our private investigator and polygraph examiner, Tim Acosta. <laughs> Story. Have a look at this. My name is Tim Acosta and I'm a retired detective. I served with the New York City Police Department for 20 years. I've conducted investigations into rapes, murders, and homicides. I've helped catch countless criminals. Today, I'm a licensed private investigator and a certified polygraph examiner. The one thing I care most about is uncovering the truth. have the answers here I just have the questions and Tim will tell us what the lie detector test told us so these are Anthony's lie detector results Anthony we asked you was the underwear Jessica found in your car from a woman you have had sexual intercourse with you said no Tim the lie detector determining coming up Anthony's lie detector results are next did you have sexual intercourse with a woman Jessica saw in your hotel room. Has Ashley been right all along? If you ask for the truth, you've got to be ready for it. And later, did you have sexual intercourse with the woman that stopped Amy on the street? Will Amy's suspicions prove correct? What? You are the fact. You're the first Revealed. If you ask for the truth, you've got to be ready for it. Today on Trisha. I love Anthony. Anthony was my last chance at love. I'm here to clear my name and save my marriage and get back on the right path. I found a girl's panties in my car that I know weren't mine. My wife Jessica is my best friend. She's my all, the only person I have in this world. Ashley doesn't think he's the right man for me, but I need her to know that he does make me happy. We're on the verge of divorce, sleeping in different rooms, walking past each other on a daily basis, not saying anything. Just want my love back. You admitted you did cheat right at the beginning. Uh, OK, yeah, yeah. You did? I know she probably talked to a lot of dudes or whatever. No, I she didn't. I, well, that's your say so. I'm no, talking to your I, mom I, right now. I'm talking to your I, mom I, right I, now. I'm looking in. Since I, I met you, I never talked to another that's man. That's what you say. That's what I know. That's what God knows. That's what What about what I found on your Facebook? <laughs> The way we do this, I do not have the answers here. I just have the questions, and Tim will tell us what the lie detector test told us. So these are Anthony's lie detector results. Anthony, we asked you, was the underwear Jessica found in your car 
from a woman you have had sexual intercourse with? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined he was being truthful. Yeah! We ask you, were you going to use the male performance pills you bought with another woman? You said no. Tim, what did the lie detector test tell us? The lie detector determined he was being truthful. We asked you... We asked you, Anthony, did you have sexual intercourse with the woman Jessica saw in your hotel room? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined he was not being truthful. Oh. Hang on, sweetheart. If you ask for the truth, you've got to be ready for it. We ask you, did you have sexual intercourse with a woman you received text messages from saying she wanted to give you oral sex? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined he was not being truthful. Oh. <laughs> we asked you, are you having sexual intercourse when you leave in the middle of the night? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined he, again, was not being truthful. Oh. That is not everything. Well, if it ain't right, right, hang on just a minute. Either they're all right or they're all wrong. So the first ones I asked you, they said you were telling the truth. So how come those ones were right, but the one where you're guilty is wrong? Uh, what do, man, that just don't seem right. That just don't seem right. That I don't even see right. The person, the, the woman that I, I did not even have a chance to have sex with her. By the time, by the time we oh, was in there, like 10 minutes, she came. came. Okay, you That's did. Not, that don't seem right. You didn't have time to have sex, so you you kind of started. Tim, anything you want to say? It's yes, weird. Fisher. People are like to agree with the bits where they're telling the truth, and then they disagree with the bits that come back that say they're lying. We spent a lot of time together. We did several exams together. I explained all of the questions. He agreed with all of the questions and allowed me to ask him those questions. He had significant reactions to those questions, and that's why he failed. So, now do you see my mom sitting here crying? Now do you see her crying? This is what you did. You don't love her because you would have cheated on her. Just a minute. Why aren't I enough for you then? Why do you still keep... No, obviously I'm not asking you to go in the front. So if it's not accurate, then those were the panties in the car and you was with another girl. Either it's accurate or it's not accurate. That's the panties want mine. You can't just select the question about what you want. If she's not what you want and you need to go to other women, then you need to get out of her life. If it wasn't what I want, I wouldn't be with it. If it wasn't what I want, I wouldn't be with it. Then I love you. And I want you to be happy. I'm happy with you. All right. I didn't know what the results of the lie detector test was. I'm watching your body language all the way through, which is why I was firing the questions at you. You agree with me, Tim? You see what I was doing there? And Absolutely. I can see where you're being untruthful. Now, conflict resolution, step one is honesty. If you cannot be honest now when you are put on the spot, then I will advise this woman to run as fast as she can and keep running. And don't look bad. Okay. Okay, sweet. I'm going to give you an opportunity to be honest, and I can only work with honesty. So right. you, you cross a line, you know you cross a line. Right, exactly. I... Sexually, you know you crossed the line. Yeah. And you, 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 you did something that, in hindsight, you wish you hadn't done with that girl. Am I right? Or, or she did something with me. She was doing the sexual thing right. to you. And you're in a situation, your mind's all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> but mainly in your pants. Right. I love you. I'm not gonna say you love me. You don't love her. I'm sorry, baby. You don't love her. I love you. Ashley, mind your business. You don't have to be sitting here crying. Okay, so I'll stop talking to you and I'll do my business here. She's a grown woman. There's a man that will let you take care of me. Hey, 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 hey. You know what? What will make you happy? Excuse. Okay, just a minute. That, and I hear what you're saying and you're frustrated. You're saying there's a man, there's a man, there's a man. I don't want no other man. Thank you. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> if, if this marriage doesn't work... It's what do you not mean working. if the, if the marriage is not... I don't... Do I'm you gonna wanna... put all my love to my son and just be by myself. I don't need a man. I haven't needed a man since I was 14. It's not the past you're still doing it. If I'm not still... I'm you not were being honest to begin with. I'm not being honest to begin with. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? You're an adult, Jessica. Because when we accept somebody, you know, the, the marriage vows for better, for worse, 
You said earlier you thought you could change, right. Anthony. No one can, can change, change anyone, we can only change ourselves. Right. We'll be right back. Up next, the lie detector test you've been waiting for. Did you have sexual intercourse with the woman that described your private part? Are Amy and Susan's suspicions correct? You made an admission. Yeah. The results nobody expected. Yeah. Hard truths yeah. revealed. If you ask for the truth, you've got to be ready for it. Today on Trisha. Liar, liar, liar. Yeah. All she hears is what comes out of her mouth. You want to say, Why would my daughter call me? Okay, three or four times a day, at least, but and tell didn't. me what you've been doing and crying. I mean, crying so hard where she and can't even speak because doing, she's though. like, it's not what I've been you know, doing. It's what she thinks I've been doing. JD, you took a lie detector test. Uh, before we get to the results, anything that you want to say? No. I'm going to say what JD said, whether he agreed with it or he said yes or no, and Tim will tell us what the lie detector showed. So I'm going to read out the she questions asked of JD. We asked you, J.D., have you ever had sexual intercourse with someone that you met online? And you said no. Tim, what did the lie detector show? The lie detector determined that J.D. was being truthful. We asked you, we asked you, did you have sexual intercourse with the woman that stopped Amy on the street and described your private parts? You said no. And the lie detector showed, Tim... The lie detector determined that J.D. was being truthful. Yeah. J.D., we asked you, during your relationship with Amy, have you had sexual intercourse with another woman that Amy doesn't know about? You said no. And the lie detector showed... That J.D. was being truthful. We asked JD, are you in love with Amy? You made an admission, Tim. He said that he wasn't. At this moment, yeah, no. We asked you, do you want to marry Amy? You made an admission, and that admission was? No, not at this moment. You didn't want to marry her. <laughs> Can I... Can I ask exactly. you? Can I just ask you to do something for a moment, sweetheart? You can pushed I me away? What can do you I want you from me? Push me can away I get you to fake this? I want you to sit next to your mom <laughs> just for a second, and I want to talk to you in a minute. JD, have a seat there. Have you been stressed for a while? I damn yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, this oh, has yeah. really been affecting oh, you. Oh yeah, I mean between uh, home and I mean she doesn't want to she doesn't want to hear it, but between home and work, it's it's way too much. It's way too much. It's either one or the other. Has it been affecting you? Because I mean everybody concentrates. Often it's the person who's actually crying and who's breaking down that everyone concentrates on. But this is a time to be honest about how the stress has been getting to you. Are there times when you just feel this is just too it's, much. it's time to quit. Yeah. What has pushed you away? You need to be honest. What exactly has pushed you away? You know, I really do want to work it out. I mean, I, I, I if I didn't want to, if I didn't want to be with her, and if I wouldn't have taken so much crap. I mean, two years. If seriously? I didn't want to be with you, I wouldn't have took your crap either. Would you be willing to do some couple counseling with her? Of course, I've told her yes. I've told her yes before. Okay. Definitely. All right. <laughs> I'm going to ask you, baby, because you. have You've been through a lot as well, and maybe you need some support in working out how you draw some boundaries around your emotional self so you don't get beat up so much. You know what I'm saying? Do you go off together or separately? I, we should let them decide, huh? Revealed. If you ask for the truth, you've got to be ready for it. Today on Trisha. Okay, well, here's something that I believe, that a partner needs to be just that, a part of your life. When your partner becomes your whole life, you're in trouble. Right. Take care. <laughs>
You are the father.